Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to spot conceal. Now I get questions on this like all the time, so yeah. So obviously this is my new channel or whatever. My other channel was kind of like a random kind of channel, you know. And um, like I would just post random videos on there and I've had it since fourth grade. And I was, and everyone tells me, oh you should make a make account. So that's what I'm doing now. So I have mascara on and that's it. You see, I don't have anything else on my face. For this, you're either going to be in your makeup routine or just practicing, I don't know. So, um, first thing you need to do is grab a brush or a beauty blender and wet that before brush on your toe. I'll be using beauty blenders for any kind of face products because it, it like... Since you wet it, it like disperses the product all over your face and it gives like this luminous look and I really like that. So yeah. So I have a few concealers that you have to try out. One of them I don't have with me because I ran out because I'm just too obsessed. Uh -huh. So the first one would be Tarte Shape Tape, but obviously I don't have that with me. So yeah. So the one that I the ones that I do have with me are the CoverGirl Clean Invisible Concealer in the shade fair the applicator looks like that now i really like this because it's not too natural but <laughs> not too natural huh? yeah if i could speak that'd be nice it's not too heavy but if you want to build it up you can the next concealer is the maybelline fit me concealer looks like this it's kind of almost running out I don't really like this concealer that much, but I just don't, I'm, I don't really reach for it often. And then the next one is the Neutrogena um, Skin Clearing Concealer. Now I like this, but I hate it at the same time. Like when I first tried it out, I was like, this is not my color. Like this is fair. And look how dark it is. Like you can't even see it on your one. But do you see how dark that is on my skin? Like no sister. So I don't like this because you can't really see your exact shade, but then once you blend it in, it's fine. Um, this does clear up, like it don't clog your pores or anything, but it does clear up your skin and stuff like that. And then the next one, I put it in here because when I run out of this, I put it into like a special bowl or something. Um, this is the It Cosmetics Concealer. And I really like that because it's very heavy. It's literally the Tarte Shape Tape just in liquid form. Like, in the squirt bottle. I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics one just because it's more heavy. And, yeah, you can use whatever kind of concealer you want. If you're going for, like, a light look, then I would suggest using something not as full coverage. But you know what? It's okay. Whatever you use is fine. So I just take a little bit. That's actually too much. You don't want to put, like, a lot. And I'm just going to find areas where I want to cover up. Um, I do this whenever I want to do something really quick. And I don't feel like doing like a cut crease or something. And yeah. You can do this wherever you want on your face. To be honest with you. Um, yeah, this will cover up on this wherever you put it. So yeah and you don't want it like too heavy at the same time like all at once you want to you don't want it like so heavy you want to start off with like a light layer and then if you want to you can put some under here under your eyes i cannot speak okay so now i'm going to put it on any redness this is optional you do not have to do this um, I'm just going to put it on redness just to show you what you can do with spot concealing. It doesn't have to be just in one spot. It could be anywhere. See, that gives like a natural, dewy kind of look. You can't even see. This lighting sucks. But, you know, okay. And... So now I'm going to be taking my other beauty blender. I think this is my Real Techniques one. Pretty sure. 
um, I use this for baking. So I'm gonna bake with this. You do not have to. I just like that extra look because this powder by Rimmel, it's the Stay Matte powder. Um, it really like lifts your face and stuff. Like it brightens. So for taking my bake or powder off, I just press it into my skin with the damp beauty butter instead of wiping it off. If I can't get everything off then I'll use a brush. But usually I use a beauty blender that's damp. The other one that I used was dry by the way. So it just gives like a natural look. Now I'm gonna add highlighter. You don't have to do this. It's not even part of the video. I'm gonna add it because I like highlight. See, it's like still on me. So I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush like this. I'm just gonna wipe it off. Okay, that's good enough. So for highlighter, I always use the Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit. This isn't even part of the video, but you could st skip ahead, but <laughs> I just put it for natural looks. I just put it right here. I don't put it like on the side of my face or anything. I use, I use all the three colors instead of four. I use Marshmallow, Gumdrop, and Starburst because all three make a blinding glow so yeah now I don't like go a lot on my nose I mean it's a lot but like I don't use like a smaller brush or anything so yeah that's it <laughs> bye